I have been closely following the situation in Burundi after acts of violence broke out in April 2015 and repeatedly called on all involved in these incidents to refrain from violence. I warned that anyone alleged to be committing crimes which the International Criminal Court has the authority to deal with could be held individually accountable. During the crisis in Burundi, more than 430 persons were reportedly killed. At least 3,400 people were arrested and over 230,000 Burundians were forced to seek refuge in neighboring countries. My office has reviewed communications and reports about killings, imprisonment, torture, rape, and other forms of sexual violence as well as cases of enforced disappearances. Because all these acts appear to fall within the jurisdiction of the ICC, I have decided to open a preliminary examination into the situation in Burundi since April of 2015. A preliminary examination is not an investigation. It is a process of analyzing the information available to determine whether the applicable legal criteria have been met for the opening of an ICC investigation. According to the Rome Statute, the treaty which governs the court, as prosecutor, I must consider issues of jurisdiction, admissibility, and the interest of justice. We give due consideration to all submissions and views conveyed to the office during a preliminary examination, strictly guided by the requirements of the Rome Statute. As with all our activities, we conduct this analysis independently and impartially. There are no timelines provided in the Rome Statute for a decision on a preliminary examination. I will make my decision when there is a factual and legal basis to do so. If the legal criteria are met, I may request ICC judges authorization to open an investigation. Or, if there is no basis to proceed, I may decide not to open an investigation. My office will also engage with the Burundian authorities to discuss and assess relevant investigations and prosecutions at the national level. Burundi is a state party to the Rome Statute, and this means the ICC has jurisdiction over genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes committed on the territory or by nationals of Burundi since 1st December 2004, the date when the statute entered into force in Burundi. All Burundians are thus under the protection of the Rome Statute. If it appears that such crimes may have been committed against Burundian victims, it is my legal duty to act under the statute.